Hello everyone, I am Mobius, aka Call Me Bronco, and today I'm going to start playing Marble Drop. So, uh, there's not much room for introduction here, so I'm just going to start playing and explain things as I go. Uh, this, this is a puzzle game that was uh, released in the 1998 for the PC, and it's a bit underrated in my opinion. Um, but I'm going to play the game, attempt, gonna attempt to get through the entire game. Uh, I can't guarantee that I'll get, I'll, uh, 100% it, but I'd like to. <coughs> so when you, uh, when you begin a new game here, uh, you're given seven marbles of each color. If you leave your mouse over the bin, it will uh, it'll t give you the number here <coughs> of how many marbles are here. And each, uh, you can get infinite marbles, but getting a new marble uh, costs points. And <coughs> I'm not going to care about my points too much for this for the purpose of this LP, um, but if you're trying to get a high score, it is in your best interest to uh, conserve marbles as much as possible. <coughs> so, uh, to start, you always need to drop marbles into these funnels, and then follow the path the marble's going to take to the exit bin. And the goal is to... Oh, they almost... they almost knocked into each other there. The goal is to get the correctly... Uh, get the, each marble into the correctly colored bin. When a bin is full, it makes a... Uh, saw appear here, as you can see, and this will destroy any further marbles that go into it. Now, if you get a wrong colored marble in the bin, as you'll see in a minute, it gets destroyed. So, uh, you lose this marble permanently when that happens. But like I said, it's not a big deal because you get infinite marbles. So, it's really only if, um, it's only important if you're trying to get a high score. I love how the marbles are going uphill right here. This game has pretty pretty decent physics besides things like that. Usually it, it, it follows logical, you know, real world physics, but there are places in the game where you'll see eventually it does not. And this, is, this screen after every level there's a breakdown of your score and it has marbles purchased, as I explained, that cost uh, points. And you get a puzzle score. I'm not sure exactly how it's deducted. There's each component used, and I'm not exactly sure. I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're on to level two. Now, here's an, a new feature. Bumpers. Uh, bumpers work. These spinner things, they don't do anything but give you points. They're just there for show, basically but bumpers knock your marble back. Now since this uh, bumper's turned, uh, it will permanently be that way, and it, we won't be able to, it won't have any more effect. Oh, that was really dumb. <laughs> that was my first mistake, I didn't even notice that. Oh well, not a big deal. Uh, this is a level where you can get marbles to knock into each other if you're good. I might try something like that in a minute here. But as you can see in the background here, there's writing that uh, kind of explains some of the stuff that's going on in the level, though it's pretty hard to read sometimes. I'll, I'll try reading it when I uh, can. It's basically just explaining all the different mechanics of the 
uh, of the game and the puzzles. So, see, this path here is the most point, uh, will get you the most points. So if, you're, if you were trying to get a high score, it would be beneficial to use that. Let's try to, to knock... Hmm. No, wait a minute. I want to see if I can get two marbles to knock into each other here. Also, every level has a marble... Oh, wow, so close. Oh, well. Every level has a, a limit to how many marbles can be on it, and if that limit, if it gets near that limit, this light in the upper corner here will uh, start flashing. And then, eventually, if, if it does go over the limit, it will destroy all the marbles and reset the puzzle. Also, you can reset the puzzle by pressing this button right here. And I'm not sure... I do not think it reverts your marble bin back to the way it was before. I think you lose all the marbles that you would have had or used uh, during the gameplay. We're almost done. And since I need to lose a marble here because I have no other way to, uh... I'm gonna use a silver marble. I didn't talk about these two bins yet. The silver marbles are the cheapest, use the least amount of points, so they're good to use as, like, cannon fodder. I'm just gonna show off what the saw does real, here, uh, real quick here. Um, but yeah, I need to change this diverter in order to access the green bin. So I'm gonna use that. Um, I'll explain what uh, black. I'll explain this bin in a little, little bit later. Yeah, the basic, the strategy of the game is, and like it's simple now, but it will get quite a bit harder much later. Trust me. The strategy is to just f imagine the path the marble will take, uh, accounting for chain diverters and changing pad lanes and everything. So, I'd like to get through these early levels kind of quickly. So here we have a three-way diverter. And this is actually uh, one of the few spots in the game where you see these, I think. <coughs> Over here on the right side of the level, there's this... I'm gonna use another silver marble here. Because this is... this marble is gonna go in an infinite loop in the level. As you'll see. He's gonna get taken up this lift or an elevator here. And it'll keep going around forever and ever, and it will effectively be lost. You can never get this marble back. Which is something to think about. We'll encounter that again on later levels. <clears throat> so yeah, these levels are pretty simple, straightforward. Just they kind of ease you into the game and the mechanics. And this path is unfortunately going to again lead to the uh, to the infinite loop. Let's see if I can avoid that. I don't think I can. Uh, well, maybe no, I don't. I can't. The only the only way to get to the orange bin is through this uh, gate. In the beginning, these uh, the bins are all the same color. Eventually, we'll have bins with multiple colors present. Yeah, I need to use another thing. I loved this game when I was a kid because I loved marble thing. I just loved this whole idea. Things like this in real life. Anyways, we're doing pretty good. We didn't waste too many marbles yet. 
So let's keep moving. Alright, level 4, Xenophon. The level titles, uh, if I have time in maybe the next video or sometime, I'll try to explain the level titles because they may seem odd. Uh, but there's a reason for that. So here's another th a new thing, a pendulum. And uh, this, I might have time right now. This level is actually kind of long. It takes a while. So it also has a new thing right here, this uh, tumbler, it's called. <clears throat> now this, this is actually a bonus unlocking level. The next level is a bonus level. I'm going to, uh, let's look at the select puzzle. This level here is a bonus level, and if you solve, if I were to solve this level normally, uh, I'd skip this level and go right to this one, level 6. So, but I'm going to, I'm going to unlock the bonus level. Uh, it's not too difficult on this one. And, uh, hold on, i got to think about this. This level is kind of annoyingly tedious. Not really tedious, just lengthy. Alright, first level will be blue. So these two spinners at the end here, like I said before, these, these don't do anything except give you points. Usually. In this, in this level, my phone's blowing up. In this level, there's a wire attached. They go to the two lights on these, uh, on this tumbler. Every time that's triggered, the light will go on or off. Now when the level ends, if all the lights are on when the level ends, that unlocks the bonus stage. And that will allow you to go to the bonus. So that's what we're going to try to do. If this is loud enough. These, uh, some of the... One thing I like about this game, I like the sounds that some of the components make. Make it somewhat entertaining. Also, you can adjust the speed of the game uh, here, which seems an odd feature, perhaps, but uh, it's actually quite useful. See, it just turned that off. It's actually quite useful because the next one is on. This, this level is pretty easy because I think no matter which funnel you choose, it always alternates this bin to this bin to this bin back and forth. So there's not really a whole lot of puzzling going on. <clears throat> uh, but as I was saying, the, uh, the, uh, uh what was I saying? The speed. Uh, this, it's good to turn up the speed for levels like this where there's a lot of elevators and slow parts, or you can turn the speed down when, um, you have to make some really precise movements if there's a really fast-paced level. Um, I may be doing that at some point. In any case, this would go quicker if I could, um, why don't I just take a minute while this is, while we're waiting for this level to, to, uh, unfold, to explain the, this level, this game has a, an unusual backstory to it. Um, in the, uh, booklet, supposedly, I don't know if this is true or not. This game is based on papers that were found in somewhere in Europe or somewhere I, I can't remember exactly. That were signed by uh, signed Leonardo da Vinci. Now it says that it's it was suspicious and probably not um, just it's it's a forgery that they were forgeries, but I don't think it's made clear if these papers were actually old or okay. It says they were conspicuously dated April first, not fifteen o three. Whoever made the plans wished for it to appear that they had been drawn by Leonardo da Vinci himself, but there are still doubts as to the authenticity of the notes. As near as we've been able to determine, the pu puzzle will only function properly if augmented by 
perpetual motion, etc. Magical stuff. So, anyway, uh, I don't know if this story is true or not. I mean, I don't believe that this was written by Leonardo da Vinci, although it's certainly possible. He's known for some pretty crazy stuff. Um, it's kind of cool to think that this might, this game, that's something uh, invented in 1503, which is certainly possible for someone of then to devise a puzzle such as this. Of course, they didn't have in mind, they didn't have in mind video games at the time. <clears throat> so it's cool to think that someone could have written a game, designed a puzzle back then that could have been implemented in by other means hundreds of years later. This is a cool thing to think about. Anyways, that's uh, that's the reason behind the th this Renaissance theme the whole game has. The cursor in the background and the, every level says your name in homage to the level title, which every title is a a person or place, a figure from history. Ancient history, that is. Yeah, this one. I think it, I'm speeding it up a slight bit by choosing the side that the upper pendulum is on. I think. In any case, this level still takes a really long time compared to the last three levels we just played. Okay, now, here's where we need to sacrifice some marbles because, as you can see, if I were to just enter the last two marbles correctly, the, the last two would turn off the tumbler and we wouldn't get the bonus level. So you actually have to... Uh, I just put it in the wrong thing. It doesn't matter. You actually have to, if you want to get the bonus uh, level, you have to sacrifice two marbles here so that the last two in are turning on the tumbler. Six. All right. Uh, yeah, this takes a while. I forgot how long this level took. I hope I am... No, I should be fine. So yeah, um, this is my first uh, LP, this is my first uh, time doing commentary. Please let me know if you can give any kind of feedback if something isn't good enough or anything I could improve upon. Feel free to let me know. Yeah, orange, yeah. I'm sure there's always room for improvement. I just wish this could go faster. <sighs> this game has a... Uh, let's see how many levels I, I keep forgetting to check. Okay, so there's 50 levels. Oh, I thought there was more than that. This level starts off... I think the difficulty curve in this game is pretty good. Actually, it starts off pretty simple and straightforward. But it gets very tough. It gets pretty tough. This game got bad reviews, I read. Um, I think maybe the fact that it doesn't have... It lacks music. It doesn't have music of any kind. Other than the little ditties that play... <clears throat> excuse me, when you beat a level. So, that, you know, that could be part of it. But, um... It is also a tough game. But I really liked it when I was a kid. Um, it was definitely a lot of fun for me. Alright. I'll change the speed back to normal. Because I did not want to play that quick the whole game. Trust me, there are levels up ahead that are very speedy and very uh, demanding in terms of uh, speed and precision. Okay, now does it say... It doesn't say anything about the the, the, uh, yeah, the bonus stage here, but we should, yes, we unlocked the bonus stage. 
Now, as you can see here, there are black bins, but we have no black marbles. But you do not need to, to get any black marbles because black marbles are uh, chameleon marbles. All of these things here, by the way, uh, just give you points. They don't do anything else but give you points. So the bonus stage, as you can see, any color marble turns into a black marble, which is really cool. And a black marble, when used, fits in any colored bin. So the bonus level is pretty much just a uh, a sort of prize that you get. I want to try to get all the point. Uh, these point things can only be used once. These can be used an infinite amount of times. What do I get to think here is what I'm looking for. It is actually, yes. Okay. And I don't... Yeah, I'm gonna lose marbles, that's alright. This uh, path has a, is a lot more opened up than the other path. Oh, there's a, here we go. Didn't take all the options here yet. Oh. I didn't even know about the bonus stage until... I don't remember, I was playing the levels and... I mean, I was playing the game for a while and then I... When it was only until I looked at the, the level selection screen... It's all these levels that I missed. I realized, oh, there's, there's more to the game here that I didn't know about. Alright, I'm going to uh, wrap up this video, I think. Uh, next time we will continue on level 6, Aristotle. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.